This is some ballet basics for our levels five to seven. Let's get started. We're gonna start on the floor. We're gonna start by warming up our spine. So we're gonna do a few cat and cow stretches. Nice inhales and exhales, really working through that spine. Do this just a couple of times to really get, find your center, really center yourself before you start your ballet bar. Let's go for one more. Pulling up and pushing down. Now we're gonna flip around and we're gonna sit on our booty with our feet out in front of us. You are gonna go ahead and apply your rules of posture and then you're gonna flex and demi and point and demi and flex. Making sure we have a really strong focus on our feet, not sickling, engaging our leg muscles. You should do this about 25 times. Once you're done with that, we're gonna flip and we're gonna flex our feet and you're gonna turn out and you're gonna point and you're gonna roll in. You're gonna flex, you're gonna turn out, you're gonna point, and you're gonna roll in. And now you can reverse it. So you can point and turn out and flex and pull in. You should do both of these about 20 times, really focusing on turning out our legs. From here, you can stand up. Right now would be the time when you would do your plie, tendu, degage, and rond jambe combinations from your normal ballet class. I know Mrs. Hodery has her favorite, and I know she makes you write them down. So now would be a great time to work through some of those. If you're not sure what combinations you should be doing, you can head to the Ballet Basics 1 to 4 video and check out the tendu, degage combinations that we do in that. From here, we're going to work through some développés. So you're going to start with your feet in fifth. You're gonna pull up to your coupe, you're gonna pull up to your passe, and you're gonna développe out straight in front of you as high and turned out as you can get it, and then tendu and close. And then you're gonna reverse it, so you'll lift straight up, and you'll pull back knee first to turned out passe, to coupe, and down. You can do this en croix, so to the side, and then to the back, and then to the side again. End this combination with a nice pour de bras forward, and a nice coupe releve balance would be a great finish to this combination. And make sure you do it on both sides so you remain even. Once you do your développés, we can move to bot mas. Our bot ma combination is going to be bot ma to the front and close, bot ma to the front and close, bot ma to the front, lower it just to a tendu and lift and close. This again should be done en quoi, so front and then side and then back and then side. Once you get there, go ahead and give me a nice plie releve balance, or plie releve up to passe balance. Really find your center, pulling up through the top of our head. I know most of us don't have a ballet bar at home, so a chair is a great alternative. Make sure you do both sides again so you remain even. Once you get through those combinations, you can move your chair to the side, and we're gonna work on some achapades. So you step away from your chair, and you're gonna be in fifth. We're gonna do sliding a chapeze. So you're gonna slide open to second, and then close back in. Slide open to second, close back in. Slide open to second, close and susu. And hold that, and then repeat. Plie and slide second and fifth, and second and fifth, and second and fifth susu. Very good. When you do that combination, you're gonna to wanna to focus on your chest and your shoulders. Our last combination is gonna work on our passe balance skills. So from fifth, you're going to plie and passe releve. Lower that foot back, plie and passe releve. Plie and passe releve. And switch it to the back and then do your other side. 